Arizona gold medal detecting. Well, I set another record just last week out in the uh, San Domingo Wash area, which is just off Highway 60, uh, about 10 miles before you get uh, to Wickenburg. Now, as I always say in these videos, the area is pretty much claimed up. So uh, before you go out there, if you're not a member of a club, uh, please check the area because you don't want to be on somebody else's claim. I'm using this new camera that I have. It's an Insta 361 X2. It's a 360 degree camera. So um, it records everything and then in post-production I decide what uh, views to see. There'll be a link in the description below. Up to now, this has been the smallest nugget that I ever found uh, out here in the San Domingo Wash metal detecting. So now we're going to see uh, um, uh, working a wash and right below, if you look up on the uh, side, you'll see there's a old uh, dry washing pile. And I'm right below that where I got a signal and now trying to see what it is. This was the second target for the day and unfortunately turned out to be a little rusted piece of iron. So naturally for the third target of the day, in the same wash just a couple of feet down. I didn't have the video camera on when I located this target. Here you can see when I uh, finally got it down to a little bit in the uh, scoop. Can you see it in there? It's tough to see right in the center. I shook it a little and now you could see the piece of gold over on the left side. The record I was talking about earlier uh, which is an okay record, not that I strive for it, is this is the smallest piece of gold that I ever got metal detecting. It's kind of like something you would expect to get panning or sluicing rather than metal detecting. But hey, gold is gold. I've gone out so many times and found nothing, well, trash, that any time, even a tiny little speck of gold like this is sure... Uh, a great feeling on your way home. Now here we're uh, we're taking a, we're heading back home, and you can see I'm uh, I'm filming this, and this is the 360 camera again, and uh, I'm holding it on a, like a selfie stick, and because of the way the two lenses and the the video stitch together, the stick is invisible. Now I'm not moving the camera; the camera is just staying right on the stick facing the same direction but in as I said before in post well here we go I sped it up with a little blur effect now if you look carefully here there's a shadow because of the position of the Sun right over the windshield and you could see the shadow of the stick and the uh, camera this is called a tiny planet effect I mean it when I first did it, it seems amazing because uh, it looks like you're a drone flying over the car. 
And no, the selfie stick is only about uh, four feet long, so it just gives you that effect. Now we're coming back down. What's nice about this camera, as I said before, it's tiny, can fit right in your shirt pocket, and uh, uh, you can use it as for regular pictures or videos from one, one camera lens or both. And uh, so it's very versatile. I use it a lot on the motorcycle. Now here you could see, I mean, it's still in the same position, but I'm looking behind. I mean, sometimes you don't want to look behind you, but there you go. Again, if you're interested in a very cool camera like this in 360 degrees, uh, check out the affiliate link below. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.